Hello YouTube. In advance I apologize for the absolutely horrible, horrible, horrible camera angles, but uh, yeah. It's kind of because my tripod is a mini tripod and I'm using a phone to record. Even though I do actually have a camera. Which is this. But uh, I haven't quite figured out how I uh, can use the optimal settings on that just yet. So it'll uh, take a short while before I'll start using that thing as a camera. Mostly because I shoot videos in dark areas and uh, the camera doesn't really seem to be able to cope with that very well. This thing has been well packaged, I'll tell you that. Come on, this is ridiculous. Sweet mother of God. Damn, that's well packed. Seriously. Okay, a bunch of boxes from food, of course I didn't buy food, nor did I buy this plastic bag. Or anything inside this box for that matter, in terms of paper and all that good stuff. It's been packaged pretty neatly actually, that's good. This is a CPU cooler that's being held together by duct tape. <laughs> oh god. And it's more socket 775 misery. Hmm, some kind of box. And it came with thermal grease. An 8 pin extension cable. And I think that is actually is. Let me check real quick. No, it is not. There's something else in here. In fact, a video card with a Molex. 2 6 pin PCI Express adapter. Ain't that old school, and man, this thing is dirty. Seriously. But yeah, this is a uh, GameWord GeForce 9800 GT, 512 megabyte card. So, yeah, nice video card. I love the 9800 series. I used to have a GTS 250, which is basically 9800 GTX, and uh, I've used that for years, and it's been always, always, always been a great card. But uh, the main attraction is in fact in here. Oh, sweet mother of God, it's dusty as fuck. Seriously, this box can go now. I just have to uh, get all the parts out of here. Because I'm pretty sure that is actually it. And if it's not, I don't care. This is all I need anyway. This is all I ordered. Or we ordered, I should say. Because once again, this is part of the project of the two PCs that I'm building. So, I get this out of the way real quick. I just hope that everything still works. We'll have to find out. But uh, yeah. So let's, uh, the cooler and the GPU, we, we can pretty much know what they look like now. The main attraction in this video will be the motherboard. There it is. 
It's a Gigabyte GAP35DS3R motherboard. Supports FSB 1333. I believe it also supports uh, FSB 1600 in overclock mode. Has a massive Northbridge heatsink for that Intel P35 chipset. Needs cleaning like all hell. Has 6 gigs of DDR2 RAM on there. There's two 1 gigs and two 2 gigs in terms of modules. And there's a Core 2 Quad CPU on there. I've actually I've actually never owned a Core 2 Quad before. It's pretty pretty amazing. This is a Intel Core 2 Quad Q6600 2.4 gigahertz. This motherboard feels pretty well built actually. There's only one PCI Express 16x slot that is in some serious need of cleaning because I can just see all these contacts here just clogged with dust. It's just that's never good. And uh, yeah. It has 8 SATA 2 ports, so this is a really, really good board for, in terms of a server. You could really make a massive file server out of this if you wanted to. But of course we are not, because we're just going to sell this thing with a 9800 GT. Decent quad-core machine. All solid caps, that's also good to note. Let's see, we've got an IDE here on the bottom. I think this is a floppy, actually. Yup. There we go, it says FDD right there. So we've got both IDE and floppy connectors still on board. I, I bet this is pretty much uh, one of the latest boards that ever supported a floppy drive. Which is good. But uh, yeah. This is pretty much the conclusion of the uh, of the overview video of the board. Just uh, take a look at the rear I.O. real quick and then uh, It'll be end of part one of this board once again. And in part two I will have cleaned it off and we'll go take it for a test drive. So, in terms of the rear I.O. we've got PS2 ports here. Parallel. It's always good to have some legacy ports. Coaxial out. SPDIF out. Serial. Four USB ports. Ethernet. Probably gigabit as well. H-channel audio. And that is it. There's plenty of headers, plenty of fan things. I just love the fact that it's uh, all solid caps. Yeah, 6 gigs of RAM will be just fine. I'll see how it runs with 8 gigs, might, um, we might ship it with that, if that uh, ramps up the price any, in, in any, uh, to any degree. So uh, yeah, that will be the end of the overview of the Gigabyte GAP35DS3R. And yes, I read that off the board. <laughs> Sue me. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this part one of this video, and stay tuned for part two, which I will probably upload on the same day anyway. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Good stuff.